This, this is for those struggling to create change, to become more, struggling to find their purpose and their passion. This, this is for those with ambition, with relentless drive and uncompromising fortitude, for the athlete, the scholar, the artist, and the scientist seeking triumph in their craft, for anyone who's ever been broken and beaten down by life, gasping for air, begging for a way out, or for anyone who sees a vision larger than the universe, who has the audacity to make what exists between their ears exist before their own eyes. This, this is for every human on this fucking planet born with the potential to be phenomenal and the balls to bring the world to its knees. This, this is for you. There's a story some of you may already know, a story about a hero named Hercules. Most hear the name and, and think of his strength and power, or immediately imagine the infamous fight between Hercules and the lion. Well, there's much more to the ancient Greek myth than that. In fact, despite Hercules' strength, it isn't his true power. And the lion, the lion was just one of 12 arduous labors he had to endure. Zeus's wife, Hera, hated Hercules because he was the product of her husband's affair. Enraged and upset, Hera cast a spell on Hercules that made him go insane. In a confused and angry state, Hercules murdered his own wife and children, and when he awakened from the curse, he was devastated. He was devastated by what he had done, broken by what he had done. He could not believe what his own hands were capable of, how he could do nothing but wallow in self-pity and grief for the catastrophe he had caused. Hercules grew deeply saddened. He grew deeply suicidal and prayed to the gods for guidance. Please, please, help me find a way. Help me find my way. I need help. Please, just help. How many of you have been there, crippled by your circumstance? Apollo confronted Hercules and said, Heracles, son of Zeus, I know what happened was the doing of Hera, but horrid crimes were committed, and for that, you must be punished. He told Hercules that to save himself from his wrongdoing, to move forward and to free himself from the pain and strife ravaging his mind and soul, that he would have to endure twelve years of hardship, twelve trying and challenging and nearly impossible labors. Hercules agreed. See, he knew the pain of the trials would be extreme. He knew he was going to suffer, to be beaten and broken and tested. But he also knew that the pain of sulking and dwelling and staying stagnant was far, far worse. That the pain of regret and giving into life's unjust circumstances was far fucking worse. So, as I said, Hercules agreed. Now, we know how the story goes from here, right? How he fights tirelessly for freedom from his fallacy. And, you know, everyone focuses on or remembers the lion for some reason, right? The big, bad, angry lion that Hercules killed with a swing of his club. But guys, that was just the first labor. <laughs> you see, it's the twelfth and final trial that we need to pay attention to. Because in it, Hercules fights the ferocious three-headed Cerberus. A dog-like creature with a serpent's tail and snakes all along its body. It was this last, final trial that was the hardest, the most difficult, the most brutal and barbaric. Hercules traveled down into the underworld, and when he found Hades, he told him what he must do. Hades agreed, but gave him one condition, and guys, this is it, this is fucking it, this is why the twelfth and last, the final trial was so fucking demanding. Listen closely. Hades said to Hercules, I understand what you must do, and I will allow you to fight Cerberus, guardian of the gates of hell. But only if you overpower my beast with nothing more than your own brute strength. No weapons, no help from the gods, and no help from the goddesses above. Let me make sure you heard me correctly. Hercules was to face his worst, toughest, most savage opponent with nothing more than his bare fists and the heart that beat within his chest. Darkness grew all around the demigod. A darkness that felt like the same darkness that draped over his heart when his wife and children were killed, like a heavy cloak soaked with sorrow. Hercules approached Cerberus, his muscles tightened, his focus growing sharper and sharper. The beast's bark was almost as punishing as its bite, its temperament more vicious than even the most predatorial and merciless lion ever to rule a jungle. Well, with swift movement, Hercules strangled the creature. Bloodied and scarred, Hercules defeated Cerberus. 
After 12 years of hardship, Hercules was absolved. More than that, though, he was granted immortality. Let me repeat, Hercules' suffering and willingness to conquer the challenges that came his way granted him immortality. Legacy. With nothing more than the features and talents he was born with, he endured and achieved legacy. This story of the mighty Hercules is powerful. It's a fucking powerful one, man, because it's, it's the perfect embodiment of this, this idea the Greeks call pathos, which is this notion that virtuous struggle and suffering would lead to fame and immortality, or in other words, fame and legacy. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Hera is life. Life does things to us that we cannot explain or change. Things happen to us that attempt to break us and beat us into submission. Sometimes life, people, the fucking world envelops you with a coldness that stabs at you every waking moment, beckoning you to obey and chaining you to mediocrity. But in that deep abyss, you must remember that darkness is nothing more than the absence of light. That in the depths of darkness, you can be the light. You need to be the fucking light. Hercules did not ask to be cursed to kill his wife and his children. He didn't get to choose that part. But he did get to choose to make things right to overcome his circumstance, to suffer so he could attain something higher, something better. He sacrificed and endured and persevered to become more, to become better, to become something other than what he is and once was. That, that is his true strength. Perseverance. We all have a Cerberus to face, and we all have the power to conquer it with nothing more than the innate strength and power born into us. Guys, suffering and pain is is fundamental it's purposeful and intentional see pain can create just as much as it can destroy but it is you who decides which one ensues pain is necessary suffering and struggle are necessary it isn't the strong who survive it is the driven and ambitious and will to live who do people get it all wrong man it, it doesn't take strength to survive to survive takes the willingness to endure because in that suffering true strength is born Life is supposed to be fucking hard. It's supposed to feel heavy. One of our greatest and most prized superpowers as human beings is our ability to adapt. Why do you think that is? Why do you think you were born with the ability to adapt and run? Why do you think you were born with intellect and, and this insane capacity for pain? Why do you think the muscles beneath your skin were literally engineered to grow bigger and stronger after being torn down in the weight room? I know fucking what. So you can persevere through pain. Life is going to be hard. It's going to be heavy. But guys, listen to me. Just because it's heavy does not mean you cannot do it. Like Hercules, life happens. But like Hercules, we have a choice. Either we sit in self-loathing or stand tall and attack our struggles head on. Listen to me very fucking closely. When life tries to beat you and break you, you need to let ambition and drive press a hot blade against your throat. So fucking tight against your skin that you can hardly swallow your own spit. You need to allow your vision and your passion and your will to be something greater than what you are right now carry you through to what you will become tomorrow. Through struggle, we grow. Through struggle, we evolve. We begin to see someone in the mirror that we no longer recognize. A godly figure with unrelenting power and untapped potential. Through struggle, we attain a, a type of immortality, a legacy, and it is your job to demand that history respects your legacy. So respect and trust yourself enough to stand the fuck up, endure your trials and labors, and defeat your servers. In darkness, if you see no light, that is because it is within you. And in darkness, we climb.